All right, everyone, it's Wu TBM and Jabroni Tony, and we don't got a submission this week. We get to. Uh, do... We aggressively look for a someone. We force someone to submit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we look for a game. It's like reverse submission. We, we, we're going after someone. Yeah, I saw this pop up in new releases, just searching by new in Steam. And I was like, yes. <laughs> we get to have some good fun playing some jank because yeah this this is uh this is <laughs> this is this is ai generated a million percent and uh yeah they just they just made a bunch of characters and slapped them in, into a photo here which is uh one way to do things <laughs> it is and it my god it looks it looks <laughs> so ai arty because it obviously is yeah they're not even like consistent like this guy and this girl look less realistic than these ones over here uh but man look at these hairstyles and like why is this guy he just doesn't have armor he's just like my muscles will protect me like i like this yes. guy he's got a force field and it's the future don't you know yeah he's uh i just i just think of like i have to think of that big e promo it's like big meaty men this game's all about big meaty men slapping meat i don't hear y'all talking about those work rate and how guys are on the ring and moon salts. I don't care about any of that. You heard? Y'all want a great match? Nah. Bump that. I want to see two big men with big chests and big muscles. Bumping meat. That's why I'm here. That's why I watch wrestling as a kid. You want your five star matches? You want your 30 minute classics? Not me. Big meaty men slapping meat. That's what I want. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's what he is, right? That's what that guy is. Big meaty man. Big meaty man. But otherwise, this game is like. The funny thing is, there's like. I don't know. Like. Uh, like there's grid based combat here. And like. I mean, I'm guessing these are all plugins he didn't make. But like, there's like these skill trees he has. Uh, so there's like. Uh, actual game design, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So it definitely was interesting. I pre-screened it a little bit, which is something I guess I should do more often because uh, I'm tired of playing games and being like, it's just, oh, you just auto-attack and like heal and like the story's boring or like underwhelming. It's like, how, how much can we talk about that stuff? Like, I'm over it. I want more. I want stuff that gives me more to talk about. This game looks pretty hilarious. Uh, there's AI voices as well and AI music, I think. So it's just, it's just all AI, just garbage. <laughs> it's yeah what was the song the the techno something bpm oh yeah i looked at the files for the game and names of the songs are things like battle techno bpm 137 i don't know <laughs> that composers necessarily name their songs in such a way where they just say the genre and then the beats per minute of the song i think that's a thing that ai does because that's just what you instructed it to do and it just spits out the name of the of the instructions as the song, as the file name. Yeah, it's the base, the most most basic because it's it's an AI. It just goes, this is what information it's named after. So this is what it is. Yeah. So uh, this game costs ten dollars, by the way. Um, I'm gonna be playing the demo because they have one, which is why I was like, ooh, perfect. I don't have to pay this money for this $10 garbage. Ten dollars for the AI, all the AI art. It's like those people, and I, I was in some art groups, and when this whole you know revolution was happening, quote unquote, and someone was like here's the here's the art i or the ai art i made and of course the comments are you didn't make this <laughs> <laughs> yeah at least he's honest about it i have seen some ai generated stuff where they don't mention that and i'm like hmm i don't believe you that this was not ai generated it it's it's really obvious sometimes too you know yeah and obviously i have ai generated stuff in my game but you know it's for my plan is it's placeholder yep. so yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know if there's anything more to say. You want to jump into this demo? Right. Demo. You sure, you know it's a demo. Yeah. God forbid you try to pass this off as the full game, because there's some kind of difference. This game automatically full screens on the wrong monitor, but I guess that's just a uh, RPG Maker thing. Well, I guess I can't say it's the wrong screen. It's just the first one. But thankfully, this game allows me to uh, get out of 
full screen mode. I don't, they didn't disable it like that other game, so it's all fine. Oh yeah, so here's the thing about this game that I learned when pre-screening it. Um, once there's a voice acting, quote unquote, I can't control the speed of that. It just goes automatically. <laughs> so, uh, so as this says, I, I can skip text boxes like this by left clicking, but I have to right click to skip the voice ones, and I can't control the speed of the voice ones otherwise. Oh, the RTP text. Yeah, the RTP font. Like he also made it. I think he made it a little bit bigger because it clips down here. Like, see the G. So I was like, whoops. Which part G? This G down here. Oh, oh yeah. I think he made it like a couple points bigger, so it's too big. Yeah, so these screens are all AI as well. I can tell by like the this like nonsense up here. Like, what the hell is? Look at this like custom cursor though. That's kind of cool. And this is the squiggly, the squiggliness that AI loves to do. And this plant has like leaves on top of leaves. Or yeah, something. yeah, it gets double up. Uh, all right. So I think once I click, they're gonna start talking. So get ready. Oh, never mind. Auto save, and it has an icon that looks like an RTP icon. Icon, but this is not RTP, so I don't know where he got this from. Where's Max again? Oh my God, the voices! I knew I saw you rushing in here. The Emperor is in an important meeting. Everything has to be AI in this game. game. Yeah. Why would he right, right, so. when he comes back? Ten dollars. In the meantime, <laughs> you can do me a favor. Look at this. Uh, Since Max yeah, needs a few hours anyway, could you crop job. The in the lower South City quarters? There are no mobile units available right now. Okay, so but I swear Yaris, tell Max if he is not giving me an audience when I come back, I am going to make a scene in the parliament. <laughs> See you in a few I'm hours. Going to make a scene. Yeah, just no emotion whatsoever. It's like, bro. Uh, this area is pretty much empty and wasted from battles, but in front of you is still a bush left. Move on to it to increase your evasion. Uh, I'll just, I've already read these tutorials, so I'll just skip them. Uh, so I click on the guy, and click on move, you can do that. Now I have evasion, you can see you have the icon for evasion. For and I can shoot him with my gun. Bang. Sometimes you miss, just try it again. So there's definitely certain things I don't understand about this game, like it says attack the target six times for eight damage, 71% hit chance? Watch what happens when I do this. This makes no sense to me. It hits him once for 48. So it just does all the damage at once? So, I don't know. I guess he just did like a... Maybe in the damage calculations, he did like a... I guess you can't call it a dice. It just, it just multiplies the numbers together. Like, what's the point of that? Because either always... Either full hits or full misses. Like, there's no... So I don't understand why he describes things as hitting multiple times. Like this is something that RPG Maker can do pretty easily. So I don't, I don't know. There's a lot it's of damage, it's not, it's not. dude. It's multiple attacks. It's damage. It's crippled by armor. Which it's like okay, How, what? Huh? How? What do you mean? Also, I like this AI art where he like, I think he just photoshopped some other sword into his hand. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, indicated field between the enemies for now. Oh, to this? Alright. My blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything. <laughs> Dude, even that art was not pixelated or anything. Yeah. Uh, you said to use a sword, right? Let me aim above you with a chakra attack to secure a safe hit. Oh. Rainbow Beam! I like how his nickname is The Hero. Now attack the armored enemy with their sword to cut through his armor with one blow. So yeah, I don't understand. Oh yeah, this is cool. It does this thing where you can mouse at the corners and it moves the screen. This game is 100% play playable with the mouse, so you'd, you'd like it. <laughs> Doesn't have WASD, but all mouse control. That's the most important thing. My blade cuts everything. It's My... a game can suck Omega levels, but... If it has mouse control, it's already a little bit higher in my book. <laughs> what is this font, though? This looks like an Old West font. But you still hear some people nearby. Damn it! You are strong, dude. 
Dude, the, the fuzz and that the, look at that rock. That yeah. We will kill you. I, I get this as a joke game, but to release this for money. <laughs> Absolutely insane. This is a joke game from among friends. Like, look at the game I made with AI. Saw you yeah. To this deserted place. Not a commercial release. Hey, you bunch better dash off while you can, or don't bother, because I'm not even gonna flinch. I guess I respect that he made the entire game with AI, so it was very little cost. <laughs> I respect. That. So did you notice that guy who was talking? Um, his name was just terrorist. Hurst? But like on his shoulder was like a patch that looked like an American flag. So, uh, but you know, it was all smudgy like AI loves to do. So I don't know if that's like an intentional like lore thing or <laughs> it's just like, whoops. I will give them a nice cut. If you're wondering why I stopped this, because I, I got this far in the pre-screen, I know I can't attack them from this range. Oh god, he's getting shot up! They have like way more range than me. It's so unfair! Um, can I go this far? I guess I will, I don't know. I actually don't know if it's possible to lose this uh, encounter. My blade cuts everything. Oh no! Why do I have such a low hit chance? Uh, I have no action points. There's all these icons, which I don't really know what a lot of them mean. Uh, this one is action points, and this is movement points, so I know that. I gotta respect that there's actually some system there. Yeah, I was thinking about that. that not just, you know, the like, three on the left, three on the right. I was thinking about that the other some t at some point recently, how whenever I open an RPG Maker game and it's like attack, defense, M attack, M defense, my, I kind of just go uh and like become instantly bored because it's like you didn't even bother to like change the systems at all to like make your own like stat system or anything. <laughs> I mean. I feel like what I would do if my voice acting was this bad from AI voices is intentionally make the game about like robots or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause that'd be funny. Uh, can I keep moving? Oh, I'm out of movement. And she. This can't game move. is kind of made by robots. Yeah. Oh. Enemy. Oh, God, I was, and that text, I, I saw it earlier, I think, and I, in my head, it didn't really quite trigger what it. I think it reminds me of a uh, some restaurant out here. <laughs> some like burrito place that chain out here that has the same font. Oh, I thought you were going to say like Claim Jumper or something. It might be that. Because it, it really it really looks like an Old West font to me. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. This this uh, status effect he put on me affected my vision, so he's not going to be able to attack more than one square away. Snap. Which is uh, pretty cool. I like that there's like uh, I don't know, like things miss. Shit. Like different stats that aren't just more damage or less damage and healing. That are like meaningful to how the game is played. Uh, this character can't heal except for like right next to her, which is like really sketchy. I guess this guy really had an idea of, hey, I want to make a game, but I don't want to deal with the art assets. <laughs> but he wanted to make a tactics game. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. How good he's there, but I, I thought I thought about the same way, you know. I want to. You talk, I've talked to you a bit about it before making like a tactics game, but <laughs> all the other stuff I'm, I'm kind of in. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't do this, but it's still pretty funny. Yeah, I guess I. I think I expressed at some point that like, yeah, it's like RPG makers already like being lazy. Like, what's the difference? Use AI art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Well. I'd at least you know. I think actually Nolan had some phrase that he said of like, if you're gonna use. AI art, I want to see, like, the effort put somewhere else or something like that. Like, because of the effort you saved, like, put it somewhere else to make something cool in your game. And I... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. And I was going to say, yeah, that I think that logic also applies to RPG Maker itself. Like, if you're going to take this lazy route and, like, do something interesting with it. Like, 
But inherently, as I'm sure you agree, the problem is if you were willing to put in that much effort at all, you wouldn't be using <laughs> this stuff in the first place, right? That's yeah. the hard part. I get what you're saying, and I agree with it, but it's like no one who, who was willing to put in a lot of effort into a game is going to be like, I'm going to use AI art and RPG make. You know what I mean? Like, they would have stopped way before. They would have, they would have, that wouldn't even have been a part of the conversation. Yeah. That's just the truth. I will perform precise surgery on them. But I mean, I just want to see like nice game design, system design type stuff. It's like, I don't like <laughs> put some effort into something. That's what I want. Oh, uh, ye I mean, I, I I know that's part of the point of this show. It's just funny to me where it's, you, you, we both know we can be jaded about it and, and just be, you know, in theory, yes, that's what people should do, but yeah. we can't expect that of people. Rainbow beam. Pew. There too. My blade cuts everything. Uh, this person's out of action points, right? Uh, okay. My body. Oh, I should have moved her in that turn because she has like very low movement. Oh, I guess I didn't need to. Never mind. It's fine. What are you talking about? Get me out! But again, it is kind of boiling down to just nice dealing damage and uh, just dealing yeah. damage and healing, and that's it. I'll say, even for a tactics game, there's, it's cool that's a little bit, but I, I figured, again, with the amount of lack of effort being put into this, I'd be shocked if the combat was actually interesting, right? Even with this. My blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything. The turn, the combat's over, right? Okay, I guess that menu stops it from ending. All right, we get more plot, more important plot. Finally, I caught you, Max. Thank you, Yaris. Nice to see the both of you. Finally, I caught you. No, my schedule is tight. It is no easy task uniting humankind. Don't give me that. I know that. And I know you know. I know it. Why else would I have helped you build the empire? But I have told you for years that we need to address the return of the aliens. I am no longer accepting any excuses. Gray, I will never forget what you, Joanne, and your friend, Jian, did for humanity. And for me in defeating the Kenimer and the conspirators from the Eternal Faction. These voices, dude, I can't <laughs> This is a $10 game, game, dude. But you heard the last <laughs> announcement about their alien force coming to Earth. So what will you do? I cannot officially support programs for space warfare. I may be the Emperor, but if I lose the support of the Parliament, I lose the support of the people, and how will we ever unite humanity then? Here Why does this Emperor have a partner with? Listen. Will you? Dude, that's you such shiny I'm your armor is so... Visit me <laughs> <from Nemesis Kayanchi, laughs> in the place you told me about. Close to that area is the old prison fortress you destroyed in the last war. We will rebuild it as a new headquarters to fight terrorists in Asia. Officially, you will leave this base to eliminate terrorist threats. In reality, I will give you free reign to do whatever you think you have to do. You know, I trust you. If you are ready, I will send my people with you to build the base. Better than nothing. I told you he would be most thankful for this grand gesture. Cray, you Whoop. go. I will follow in a few months after you set up the base. Let me talk to my dad in the meantime. Your dad? You know, you mean Chien's murderer. I I did realize, I'm so used to one of us reading everything. This game, we don't have to. Yeah. I was like, why does this feel so different? I'm like, oh, that's why. His people are old. They might be the only ones who know how to build ancient weapons from the time before the collapse. A few months later. All right. I don't know why A is not capitalized. And I am glad and you guys joined me. Like, what convinced you to leave the monastery? When Max, the Emperor, visited me a few months ago, he told me about your goal to defend what? the Earth. Seeing him reminded me of the time decades ago when I was still the leader of Tilius. Back when I had responsibilities. I did not kill Max and his war band when he was a young rebel. I exiled him and now he leads humanity for the good. I fled from my responsibilities but I can still do good. I am not young anymore, but if anyone needs meditation, I will be there for you. Don't look at me. 
I am just here to protect Master Kayanchi. Okay, also, I need some action again. <laughs> Thank you. Together we will achieve our goals. Hi, everyone. You are actively helping us this time? Yes, someone needs to show you how to fight. Well, I will show you how to use your head in fights, and I don't mean to headbutt things. I will be in the meditation center. You can find me in the training center. It is so good to see you again. You can find me in the canteen when you are ready to talk. Cray, we set everything up. It is time for me to return to Mibo. This is the command center. The most important thing here is to choose the next mission. To do this, open the mission panel, go to available missions, and click on the mission you would like to do next. The chosen mission is indicated by a different color. I would say this sounds interesting, many different but parameters. we know it's it not starts with the category. <laughs> do you want to improve your squad by recruiting new members? Do you want to find ancient technology or improve relations with other factions to unite humanity against the impeding alien invasion? Then the mission can be against different opponents with different goals and in different environments. For example, if you have to fight on a battlefield with heavy artillery, your field of vision might be greatly reduced due to the fog of war. After you have chosen your mission, you should think about which squad members and skills you will need for that mission. In the skill tree, you can look up available skills and the stats of each character. The task you've given each member so far is shown by the icons on the right side. You can click them for more information. Everyone partaking in the next mission will be withdrawn from their tasks. To start a mission, you go into the hangar. Before you do that, don't forget to visit the other facilities to improve the abilities of your companions. Before you depart, you will see a weekly overview. Don't leave if there are squad members left with no task. That's it for now. You can get help oh. at each facility by clicking on the question mark in the bottom left corner. Goodbye. I guess I didn't understand that when I was previewing this. So, what do you mean? Ta what do you mean task? I thought this was my. I thought this was my team. Was this is everyone who selected? I can't click on this though. So it's kind of neat. A lot of like UI work here to like get stuff to like pop up and stuff. Uh, Here's the effort you're thinking of. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Well, there's skill trees, and skill trees are kind of cool. This is character skills. I wanted to read this because I skipped over it, and I was like, "What did it say about being the demo?" You need skill points, which each character gains by finishing missions. You can see your character's current skill points SP in the window at the top of the screen. Each skill costs one SP, but you need to activate lower skills to unlock higher skills. The higher the character's level, the more missions he she needs to get another skill point. If you click on a skill that you unlocked and have a SP, there shows a star on it. If you click the star, the character can learn the ability. Here in the demo, all characters have five additional SP to test your character's abilities. Oh. This is missing an apostrophe. Oh. So this is cheating, essentially. Okay. Why would you do that? Um, so you can, like... It's kind of cool. Choosing things like speed and evasion and strength for this one. Uh... Or increasing your damage. It's like, oh, I'm like, I want to move faster. Especially since I have no idea what increasing my damage means. <laughs> and I don't know what armor, how armor works. So I don't know if I want to regenerate it. Yep. It's like, this seems cool in theory, but, it, you know, we're just going to assume the execution is going to be very... Uh, yeah. Of your energy weapon? Basic. What is my energy weapon? Because this unlocks a railgun, it says, if I go up here. So... I was going to do this for now. I want to move faster. Yep. And then... Hopefully this thing isn't too short, this whole demo. Yeah. I just want to get this railgun, because I want to see it. Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's do this, because, like, accuracy in this game's fucking whack. Um... <laughs> it's 70% chance to hit. We were talking about that. And how that's a bad chance to hit, like... And uh, playing Nolan's game and having a 30% chance to apply a status effect. And you're like, that's insanely low. <laughs> uh, what are you thinking? Just I mean, get I, five attacks, no problem. I guess, you know, I guess his logic is, well, you still hit them and do damage. I'm like, yeah, but the fucking, the stacks are what you need. 
the damage is garbage. Um, oh, whoops. So this game does give you the ability to solve accuracy, which is nice. Which is like, not just, oh, you just miss all the time. Must be an adjacent field. Don't I already know this? Oh, she does, okay. Uh, Jason Field, this is an improved version of it. Surgeon? What? Field Physician? Surgeon? Oops. Instead of standard regeneration of Eternals, a quarter focus, she now regenerates hit points amounting to her entire focus every turn. Oh, okay, let's just make her a really good healer, huh? Says it's only gonna cost one extra point if we learn that. Uh. Uh-huh. Uh, what's this one again? Oh, the invisible thing. Nah, she can't do damage. She's dumb. She's gonna heal. Everyone else is gonna use their big meaty fists. Uh. I don't know. She'll heal herself easily. Uh, whatever. Just kind of blast through these trees and not do too much thinking about it. Uh, yeah. so, so I think this dude literally punches people with his fists like he is just a big meaty man. <laughs> uh, nearly damaged by 8. What? 25? Oh, accuracy. I see. Stun. Target loses 1 AP. Okay. Instead of just pushing the enemy, grab them, whirl them around, and throw them into the ground, deals additional damage, reduces target's evasion to zero and the speed by three. Reduces enemy's armor. I don't know what armor is and how it works. <laughs> it's like so much stuff and it's probably, yeah, yeah, who knows. Imagine yeah. this insanely uh, deep combat system <laughs> of, of all games this game. Yeah. Chakra attacks. Oh, chakra attacks are like good. At least that's what it seems like to me, is chakra attacks. He needs range. Punching things isn't going to work. Chakra beam? Oh, he can AoE. What's this? This attack is a safe hit. I don't know. What does that mean? Uh, let's give him this one, too. He can go faster. All right. That's good enough. All right. So. Uh... Oh god, I really don't want to click on a bunch of menu things, though. Instead of joining mission, characters can learn from Master Kyon Chi to control their chakra. Uh, what? Oh, do they get, like, stat increases? Does this take them out of the mission for a little bit, though? What does this do? I'm scared. Hold on. Alright, I have a plan. I saw this earlier, which is how to save. So we'll save with an RTP sound. Uh, there's a lot of RTP sounds, actually. Why couldn't you use AI to replace all the sound effects? Oh, okay. So he's like, he can't come with me if he doesn't have a task. Is that what that, or if he has this task? Is that what that means? No! Give him back! Uh oh. Fitness center? Fitness center. Instead of joining mission characters, can train here to increase their strength. So mainly damage by one. Yeah, yeah, big meaty men. Oh. This is an interesting place you have built. I haven't left the What's with all the cardio equipment if it's here to build strength? <laughs> anyway, They're in the gym, bro. The, research mission, I have found something for you. the mission is not in the demo. In, not in the demo included? Is that what that said? <laughs> I have to leave. Then I will continue my training. Uh-huh. Uh... Oh, look. Wait, what? Wait, she can't learn strength. Oh, probably because she doesn't have melee attacks. She only has lasers and healing because she's a girl! AI is sexist. <laughs> canteen. This is the canteen. Here you can work on nutrition plans. Wow, this looks exactly like... Wow, this like... game is... <laughs> I don't know what it's all going to lead to, but it's kind of a... It's kind of funny, like that. The th you can see the thought process here. Yeah. Well, it's, like a... to... it's almost like XCOM, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. I was going to say, this AI art reminds me of a break room of a job I worked uh, five years ago or something. 
was like, ah, it reminds me of that place. Uh, increase the hit points of your characters. Okay. Uh, oh, 15 health. Okay. So, but it's kind of... I'm like... I have to take them off of a mission to do that? Or how does that work? It said that I... They, okay, so it said that I have to, ha I have to give them a task, right? So... I wonder if that's just a thing that they get to upgrade that happens before you leave for the mission? Hmm. Instead of joining a mission, characters can construct a weapon... Construct weapon damage upgrades for their respective weapons. No, that makes it seem like you can't do that. Infirmary. This is the infirmary. Here you can treat injuries. The injured character has to spend... Has to spend the week here to heal the wounds. Wounds don't heal on missions. Oh, wounds, huh? No one has any injuries. Okay. Game had injuries? Am I thinking uh, Rainbow Six Extraction? I don't remember if XCOM had injuries. I want to say it did, but I don't know. Oh, yes, we have a jet from the fucking 20th century here in the future. Uh, airplane. So we don't have spaceships? For more mission slots, three to six. Upgrade your mission slots as soon as possible so you'll be able to take on harder missions. I mean, having more dudes is always good. Uh-huh. All right, so... Spend the week by another one. Uh, departure. You haven't chosen a mission yet. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, no! No, I don't want this! No! Well, it's a good thing I saved. It asked me if I'm sure I want to do this, and I'm like, no, I don't. Okay, here we go. Better choose a mission. So, how do I cancel this guy doing the shit, though? Or do I, I still don't know if that's... I still don't know if that's, like... They don't get to be on the squad if they're doing that, right? Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have everyone do a task and see what the game says about that. What is... I saw it earlier. I know we were in this room earlier. What is that thing? That gun thing? Is oh, like a this? Purple. Yeah, what is that? Everything <laughs> else is I understand what it is. I have no idea what the hell the thing is. I feel like he probably should have spent more time to AI. Because AI just... You know, it just... It just is like, here's, like, objects. Because, like, look at this, like... What's going on here? This is, like, exploding. Like, there's just lights just, like, bleeding all over the place. So I think he just he just told it like sci-fi room with a thing, some sort of sci-fi like thing. Should spend more time. I know what you mean, like go for more prompts, but it just sounds funny where AI art to be like he should have spent more time on this. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean that's that's the thing. It's like it's so little effort. It's like spend more time on it. Just keep re-rolling until you get something that looks better. Um, what is this again? Oh, this is where I select a mission. Uh, so yeah, they have this quest log which. Looks like the Yanfly one, but like, you can select things? So that's interesting. Um, oh, I should probably look at the mission. What does it say? Because he said that the rewards were important, right? Oh, wow, I just mouse wheeled down and that worked. Um, rewards, the destroyer. So is that a dude? Capital of Africa. Oh, there's a capital of continents now? I'm defending his. Kenemara in the last so war. Kenemara. I'm going to put the Mari in the underground arena master and ask him about the arena champion to destroy her. <laughs> the arena champion. Convince the destroyer that helping in your quest will be more rewarding to defend the champion's title. I, I love this plot. This is great. We're going to meet fucking a wrestler and convince him to like wrestle aliens on our fucking superhero squad. Perfect. Uh, that's like, this is going to be a five for na <laughs> narrative. Task. Uh, all right. So what else? Um, meditation sensor. So this guy can meditate, right? Oops. Hello, I'm Yoshimitsu from Tekken. 
Yeah, why does he have such a name? But he does he look Japanese to you? And his last name is like Kane. Yeah. He looks kind of like, I don't know, I guess maybe Mongolian, but I was going to say Native American or something. Oh, I thought he looked Asian-ish, <laughs> but it's hard to say. Yeah, what does fitness do? Hot strength? All right, so we'll just give her... You're the one who works here, but you're, you'll are you be the one who does it. Because that makes sense. What? What, did I just, what just happened? Yes, her. Do it for her. Oh, it did do it. Okay, never mind. All right, so now that everyone has a task, uh, let's see what happens when I leave on a mission, if I'm understanding this properly. Oh, maybe she should do this. Uh, yes. All right. Only Cray will join this mission? Why? What do you mean? Mm. Relieve Cray from his task? What? Uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So he's... How do I get other people to cancel their tasks? So it seems like they don't come come on the mission when they have a task. Didn't it say, like, everyone should have a task? Isn't that what it advised me to do? Cray, we set everything up. This is the command center. The most important the thing here... Next mission to do this? Mission. To do this, open the mission. Missions can have many different parameters. It starts with... Then the mission can be against different opponents with different goals. After you have chosen your mission, you should think about which squad members and skills you will need for that mission. The task you've given each member so far is shown by the icons on the right side. You can click them for more information. Everyone partaking in the next mission will be withdrawn from their task. To start a mission, okay. you go into the hangar. Before you do that, don't forget to visit the other facilities to improve the abilities what? of the companions. Before you depart, you will see a weekly overview. Don't leave if there are squad members left with no tasks. Okay. That's it for now. So, okay, so just that one makes him unable to do shit. Okay, so... Uh... Let's do Canteen with the main character, because... Oh, wait. Maybe I should do... Uh... Fists? No, let's do Meditation Center. I'm going to do all guns, because I think this affects guns. There you go. Alright, so. Now, do I understand how to play this game? I don't know. Only Cray will join this mission. Uh... I don't... I want everyone on the mission. Everyone go. I want everyone on the mission. What do you? What is this game? Like, what you told me to get? Okay, whatever. We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, maybe that just says that because that's uh. But it made him. It made me wait. What? Hold on. Let's do that again. Let's not relieve Cray of his task and see what happens. Uh huh. Oh. So, what? Uh-oh. 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 I'm trapped. All right. That didn't work. All right. So, nobody has tasks now. So, am, am I, like, what happens if I take everybody with me, huh? Does it still say only Cray? You haven't chosen a mission yet. Oh, right. Skip this week's mission. Better choose a mission. This is, yeah, it does kind of remind me of XCOM a little bit. Yeah, I'm like, is there a timer? Can I just skip, like, ten weeks in a row to juice everyone's stats? Is there a consequence for doing that? <laughs> I'm assuming no, but no, no. You never know with these RPG Maker games. They don't think, like... Yeah. About. That's exactly what I'm thinking. This is too low of a quality of a game for that to probably be a concern yet. So let's try but it. Maybe we're wrong. Let's try it. Let's let's do it. Let's 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 juice everyone's shit up first, and then see if the game's like, what the hell? 
you gonna play this game or are you just gonna fuck around? It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna fuck around. Let's do it. Uh huh. Incoming message from the uh oh. Headquarters. <laughs> If you don't need all your soldiers for a mission, there are always allies who would appreciate a helping hand from one oh, of the Is what I'm supposed to do get more dudes? Get more dudes. So that way the dudes I don't take on the mission, they can do training. Every week a faction will ask you for assistance in a situation that requires a squad member with a certain skill set. So I think okay, I think what it's telling me is that, that first mission only needs one person. So that's why um Oh, the commission's not gone, though. So, no, there is no consequence. Um, so, yeah, let's just do this. It's going to tell me, right, that... Oops. Uh, that only he's going to go, right? What? What are you talking about? What? Uh-oh. Drama's occurring. Uh, Cray. Oh god, this is this is a nightmare. What's happening? Oh god. Start mission with no people? <laughs> Hi Cray. I didn't think we would see each other again. Even after the war, you never stopped impressing everyone. African accident. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't get over it. Hi Amari. I'm not here. Hi to Amari. I was told you could help me find the destroyer. Too bad, but let me see if I can help an old friend. Meet me again in. Okay. Maybe I should help them the talk Sentinel faster. Is coming down into the lower living quarters of Teleois. How could that happen? The Earth will be invaded by the same aliens who we wrongly thought to be mutants helping the Kenemire in the last war. Thus, I am searching for capable people for the defense of the Earth. That sounds far more interesting than beating up this losers here. Oh God. Tell you what. If you beat me in the, the Atlanta, typo was I in the AI dialogue as well. Oh, I have to beat her. Uh oh. In a graveyard. Yeah, in a graveyard. What the hell? My blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything, so I don't think she's thought this through. No, it missed. Minus zero, thirty-six. Okay. So I'm just gonna like, uh, you know. <laughs> Good luck, idiot. Oh, she was able to attack me from that distance. Shit. Yeah, there's not much in the way of tactics if, like, you can't, like, for humanity. use movement in some kind of way to, like, get advantageous positions and stuff. If I'm just moving to attack, then that's just extra steps of, like, yep. a regular just, JRPG. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of, noticing this. I was thinking, yeah, even though there's a tactical board, there has to... You are strong. If, if, <laughs> it ha it, it's like nuanced design wise to make it make uh, interesting. It's not just, oh, make them walk toward each other, right? You have to make ranges, priorities. Count on that. Welcome on it's board. not easy. Definitely seems out of the scope of this. <laughs> yeah. I love that she's like, you are strong, because I like blasted her with a railgun twice. Cray leveled up. He earned a skill point. Okay. So. Strong. Use his gun. <laughs> We have lost contact with <laughs> your position. We have lost contact. They are surrounded by terrorists. Oh no, Americans. Please Terrorist. send in a rescue team as soon as possible. Our soldiers won't hold out for long. We also have some intel for you. Our satellites have just been... This armor is so shiny. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over it. Australia? Lead-coated? Whoa, we're just throwing all sorts of lore, just like... I have already transmitted the mission details. Emissions available. Unrest in Southeast Asia. Warlord is not a demo included. Emissions uh, Warlord is not a demo. Didn't you say it twice? It, uh, you did. All right. I so haven't kicked out, gotten uh, kicked out yet, though. That's nice. Now I got four people, and I got... Uh-oh. What's this? Skip mission? What do you mean? What's this? Why? The goal of recruiting new comrades or to bond, bond with them. Crane must join these missions. Oh, what the fuck? What is, what is, I think this is, I don't know what, this is, this is not correct. <laughs> oh, medium. All right, we're going to do the easy one. So, I don't know what the hell just happened. Um, it kind of seems like I could just cheese it and, like, keep 
training. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of like, hey, now the final quest is here. Now you got to fight people. So maybe that's the consequence. I don't know. Yeah. Zendaya. Zendaya, my God. Could not think of a, another name. Yeah. And she has a gun too, so... The icons are so low low uh, resolution. It's yeah, I don't know why, like... I assume these are icons he uses in the game, which the default icons in, our, in RPG Maker are 32 by 32. So I think he just blew them up. I guess the tiles are 48 by 48. So he just blew them up to 48 by 48 and it just makes them pixely. And blurry, because they're originally 32 by 32 and there's not... It's not going to add detail. Yeah, I'm surprised. You know? Uh, and these obviously look okay because he's scaling down instead of up. Oops, what is this again? Rifle damage? Range of rifle bonus 4, be, but... What do you mean, but? You get to, as attacks with every shot in your rifle is... What do you mean, but? I think you mean and. Because these are both positives. Yeah, they're 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 not contrasting at all. Yeah. Actually, the rifle's by 20 and the range by 2. If the shotgun is used, the range only by one well i don't know how to equip things so uh what's this for one action point fly over just up to four up to four fields what the fuck does that mean does you mean squares hmm rocket launcher rocket launcher she has a fucking rock i'm gonna use the rocket launcher rocket launcher if this is disappointing which i'm sure it will be uh <laughs> minus points Range of the rocket launcher by five and its accuracy by twenty. It's always kind of weird to me that a rocket launcher needs accuracy. It's like just oops, what's this? Uh, just shoot relatively near the target. Yeah, just near them and it'll fucking blow them up. Uh, what? What? Why are there weird like not related things in the trees? Like these are new skills. Okay. Oh, there's shell types. I'm sure that'll just be like. Uh, like you have a weapon skill tree called Rocket Launcher, and then there'll just be like multiple skills in there that are like, oh, it's a shell type, but I still think that's kind of cool, like, uh, narrative design, I guess. To at least have a solution for like, we're not sci we're not fantasy, so we don't have like spell books or whatever. It's like, oh, he's a fire rocket and a poison rocket, although these are kind of redundant skills, but. Nuclear warheads. Yeah, just give me, just give me more, just explode people. I think exploding people is a good plan. Uh, what? This sounds really lame. I can't even, like, what? Incendiary warheads reduces target armor by half of your hit damage. I have no idea what armor does in this game, so. Just try to vision range to one, and their accuracy equals your weapon damage. What? You mean reduce actually by your weapon damage? Or is it setting it to my weapon damage? Because that sounds weird. Because I would mean that my, the higher my ac my weapon damage is, the, the worse the skill is. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, whatever. That's good enough. So, I don't, like... So, can these, like, quests tell me, like... Oh, whoops. Uh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I see. I, I don't know why I got screwed up there. Uh, this one, yes. Can you tell me, like, how many people I can take on the mission beforehand? You know, that seems like a pretty glaring design flaw with your, what you got going on here. So I can think, oh, if I just need one person, then I can, I'll can i think ahead of time who I want to pick. Instead, I'm just going to get to the fucking screen, and it's going to be like, ah, oh, well, geez, I guess you're only going to send one person. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be a little whoopsie. Um, oops, what am I doing? Let's just go to the fucking mission. What, wait, requests? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Well, I don't know... How many people can go on this fucking mission? So, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I have to do that? Oh, I see. 
Nah, we don't need relations. Cray has to join has to join recruiting missions, yes. Which characters should join the mission? Max two. Oh now you tell me. Okay, cancel. Can I go back now? Can I do that side mission and send Joanne? Okay, yes. Okay. Now I have this mission. This is this is this is like definitely RPG Maker Jank, where it's like Can I select Joanne? I just sent her on a mission. Um, okay, let's pick her even though I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's... Let's try this. I don't... What, huh? Uh-oh. I broke it or something. I don't know what's happening. Command center? Okay, let's see if I do this. Okay. Now, let's go to this. Because it seems like this is not working properly. Uh, yes. Oh no, what is happening? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I have to select him and then one other person. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Rot row. Well, that's minus technical score right there. Because <laughs> that didn't make any fucking sense. Are you the major? Dude, look at that yes, exterior. Man. By that name, exterior. But who are you? He's I'm looking in the wrong direction for some Why reason. Is the Emperor Sentinel here? And his hair, his head looks slower. Rose. And in search for outstanding. It's the funny uh the, the, the Photoshop. Uh, I heard you are like, not very happy about how things work here. It's really noticeable on all these guys. It, it's, it's to help make things less, uh, what is necessary to look less bad when they're against the background, but still looks really, he's really blurred. Yeah. So the problem with AI is that it, it loves to put shit in the background of the image. Like, you try to tell it no shadows, no lighting, and still, like, puts, like, glow, and, like, the background will be, like, slightly gray. Or like a gradient, and you're just like, no, it's making it harder for me to like crop this shit out. Don't you understand? AI want to steal this for a game. I don't want your background. Take care of that, and then go back to our base. All right. It's about you have the high ground. Oh, really? Oh, that's what the shield means. What is? Use their tents to increase their evasion. Oh, that's what this is? This RTP shit? <laughs> In this difficult f to maneuver mountain area, all fighters have minus 2 speed and plus 10 evasion. Alright. Uh, God, look at this RTP, dude. Like, taking me out of it. Standard shells. Oh, wow, that's a really short distance for a rocket launcher. I'm gonna blow myself up. Okay. Um, I don't know. Oh, I shot a bunch of times. 37% hit chance! Lol. I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if it actually hit four times, so it seems like it's calculated all at once. See? 40 damage. Let's blow something up. I, sh I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe it's like... Um... If it hits once, then it does full damage? I don't know. I have no idea. It makes no sense to me. Um, my blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything. <laughs> it's like reading off a script in practice. He's bored. How is your tent supposed to protect you from my fucking railgun? Uh, Concealment, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. Did he suddenly become like have an accent? They want to know what hit them. Um, oh, I see. This one takes two action points. But does double damage. Well, they're intense, so... Oh my god, he has infinite range! Well. Oh. One hit point. One hit point. They won't even know what hit them. They won't even know what hit them. Uh, can I move you still? Let's blow something up. Okay. RTP sounds. RTP sounds. 
Ow, my body. Jeez. 30 damage. I don't have a healer on this fight. Oh, I guess I... But I sent her on a mission. Wow, there's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of dudes. Um, Time to burn. Time to burn. Oh my god, I can't Let's move. Uh, you st stop missing. Why is hitting so hard? Time to burn. Them. Okay, these sound effects, dude. My blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I guess I'll do this. This only costs. This is something I wasn't paying attention to. This only costs like AP to use. So why would I ever use sword attack? I don't understand this. Rainbow Ben. I guess the other one said more damage and ignores armor or something. But this is guaranteed to hit, so like. My blade cuts everything. My blade cuts everything. For yeah. Humanity. For humanity. Uh... <laughs> Reminds me of uh. My blade cuts everything. Uh, Mr. Plinkett, you know, the red little oh, media yeah, guy. Yeah. Like, oh no. <laughs> Uh, all right, infinite range, man. So this have guaranteed hit. How do I know if it has guaranteed hit? Let's see. This doesn't tell me. It has 25 eyeballs, but I don't have any idea. I don't have any idea what the accuracy is on this one. Oh, I have to click on them first. 83% chance. He's, he's pretty good at hitting things. 100% chance. Okay, that makes a difference. They won't oh, even know what hit them. A little more uh, juice in them. Yeah. Since I was bored. Who am I thinking of? Am I thinking of somebody from like Grand Theft Auto 4 with that voice delivery? <laughs> Let's blow oh something. man. Probably. Who knows? I don't even know what hit them. Cousin Nico. No, I'm the hero. I can't die. No. No. Um, they won't even know what hit them. this guy is the best, uh, because he can hit anyone, any range. I don't have any real reason to know, like, what each enemy does, other than this guy looks like he has armor, so I'll probably use this guy because he ignores armor, but, like, I don't, I don't know, this guy's a sword, shoot him, I guess, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I won't even know what hit them. Oh my god, she's not gonna be able to shoot anyone. I can shoot my own team. Can I shoot my own teammates? No, I can't. Uh, did I take his turn yet? I don't remember. I did not. Okay. I wonder if this is all, like, eventing. Because it's so funny to me that when I do, like, wrong things, it just brings up a text box. Like a default, like, show text command. For humanity. Which is pretty cool in its own way, but, you know, that's not necessarily good <laughs> for a game to have jank. Uh, so everyone took their turn, I think. Whatever. He might die, but, you know, he's only the main character. It's fine. Oh, no, he can heal. I mean, I... Unsurprisingly, the RTP. RTP Whoa. sounds, baby. So wait, what's the chance to hit on this? 63. Like fuck, these fucking everything. chances to hit are crazy. Oh, good, it killed him. Did less damage. I guess, I don't know. I don't know how uh, armor works. I really don't. For humanity. Uh, This only costs one, right? Like, yeah, let's do this again. Oh, it didn't kill him. All right, let's move here. Uh, and then this lady is gonna just move and not be able to do anything because everything's so far away. Time to burn. This guy's a sniper. He can anything on the fucking map, which is pretty cool. 100% chance to do double damage. Sounds pretty good. What's with the movement? I'm, I'm off this area now. Uh... 
No, fire. It hurts. It burns. For humanity. For humanity. Uh... Thank you for your help. I think it will be a great pleasure for me to help you in your endeavor. We will be glad to have you. Cray, because he crazy. Uh, Cray leveled up again. Oh, I should probably be, like, giving him things. Oh, she gets a level for doing that side mission. Oh. Tiberius? Okay, I guess his name is Tiberius. I've only heard him referred to as, Oh, look at all these dudes I have! Oh, my god! Your power, your, your roster. I'm so powerful now. Alright, um, what's this? Cone melee attack. Deals double damage, cost two. I need something that gives me like infinite like fucking hit chance. Oh, how about this? Let's increase the speed some more. Base evasion by 25 points. I mean, it seems like he has to tank a lot, so let's just do that. Uh, what's this one? I don't know what armor means. Let's do it. Let's do this one. Oh, do I have to do this one first? Or am I out of points? Oh, I'm out of points. Okay. Oh, can I just click on them? Oh, I can just click on them on the side. Oh, cool. I kind of expected not to have... <laughs> Any kind of quality of life shit, I guess. Um, so what's your deal? You can't do anything. Um, of all ranged abilities, does that include her heal? No, her heal isn't ranged, it's melee. Barrier. Barriers. Ooh. Focus by 150%. By 150%? I'm going to hold you to that. Um, it's an extra point. Because there's a big difference between by 150% and to 150%. The difference is one of those is three times better than the other one. Um, Asion point. Uh, what? What is this? Multi beam? Uh. What? The way some of these are worded is like weird. Uh, I don't know. Let's give her some attacks. Maybe some of these have more range. And unfortunately, there's no way to know. Uh, maybe she needs rifle. Rifle damage by two? She needs rifle range. Oh, here we go. Some of these say range. Let's see what this says. Range by two? Okay. Range of your rifle becomes four. Your choice of many attacks. And your rifle accuracy increases by 20. Alright, sure. Oh no, I ran out of points. Alright, whatever. Muscle man. I haven't even played as him. Uh, what? He gets a drone. Uh... Yeah, flash grenade. No, let's be like good more more good at damage. More damage is good. Attack range by five. Wow, more attack range. Hammer bullets? Hammer time? Uh what? Normal weapon damage? 8 range, minus 50 accuracy, and 1 AP. Hmm. Shot. Yeah, maybe this is a good idea. You know, why, why am I even thinking about things? I don't know. Yeah, we have a demo, <laughs> dude. We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna cool. not save any of this. And it's probably not gonna be that useful. Oh, I gotta save. We're four of our while keep playing this game. Very important. <laughs> Uh, requests. The machinery working again. Relations plus two. I can't send Cray, can I? I don't want to send the Major. I'll send Cray, see what happens. Uh, available. Uh, oh, this one. Medium? Medium. Oh, we're now, we're on, now we're on medium missions. So let's see how badly we get our asses kicked. Uh, so... I wish I could know how many people are needed for this mission. I guess I'll assume I only get two people. I don't know. Or three? 
How, like, why can't you tell me how many people are needed in the mission? Oops. Uh, convince her to join your cause. I love that these missions are just like, super cool dude wants to meet you and he's so fucking cool. He's the destroyer. He's the invincible bastard. Oops, I'm doing the wrong thing over and over again. All right, so... Um, oh, fitness center is a lie. It's strength. I want it to be movement speed. Uh, let's send... Zendaya. Oh, that's not how you do that. Oh, I can't send her? What? Is gun damage strength? No, she can't do anything. Hmm. Let's send this guy. This guy is, it's such a, he's so funny because he, yeah, he, he looks kind of Asian, but also kind of, <laughs> this guy looks more so a mix. <laughs> so jacked. All right, so maybe I'll get to have three people. Uh, let's see what this mission says. We shall see. Uh-huh. Cray has to join recruiting missions. Oh, fuck. All right. Let's do a different mission, then. Cray has to do it. He's the only one with the Riz. Uh... <laughs> do I have to go here? I have to go here, right? All right, so... The mercenary. Unrest in Southeast Asia. This is just, like, kill people, right? No... Okay, for every rescued soldier. Interesting. So is there actually going to be, like, NPCs that I have to prevent from dying? I guess we'll see. Damn it, I hate this fucking flow of going to the hangar and shit. Max 3. Alright, so now we're cooking. Because now we have a full team and two people with tasks. Wow, the system works. Uh, the mission ends when all your squad mates members have left the area. You get plus for every soldier that has escaped until then. Must have left before the end of your seventh turn. Then for your squad mates' ability to carry allies. Oh. Well, who, who is, uh, are these, these look like bad guys to me. Are these the guys? Oh, right. Oops. I will perform precise surgery on them. I will give them a nice cut. I will give them a nice cut. Yes. Very good. I will perform precise surgery on them. Oh, now it tells me what their range is. I will perform precise surgery on them. Uh, I guess you're done then, lady. We'll do this. Why not? Why not become invisible? Everyone's moving so bad. Shotgun. What happened to my? Uh, I don't have a fucking... Oh, did I select a skill that made me have a fucking... Oh, this has infinite range! I don't know if these are, like, helpful people, but they're dead now. Oh, it takes two action points. She has infinite range now. I don't I don't know. Maybe I wasn't... <laughs> this guy's voice. I love it. They won't even know what hit them. Oh, he doesn't have infinite range now. What? Oh wait, wounded soldier. Uh oh, are these the people I'm supposed to be <laughs> saving? Oh no. Oh, there's the enemies. <laughs> whoops. In the fog of war. Well, I killed one of the people. So whoops. What's happening? Can I? Oh, they're shooting them. Apparently, this guy's missing health now. Time to burn. Rocket launcher. Time to burn. Oh wow, she can hit all of them. She's the fucking best. Uh, <gasps> let's blow something up. Uh, yeah, just move right into his face. Time to burn. Or not. Time to burn. <laughs> so funny. I'll help you out. Uh. 
Uh, you're dead. They won't even know what hit them. Oh no, I'm thinking of, I was watching uh, a YouTube guy play a game, and he was playing some Slav Jank game, and the voice actors are all like, Oh no, what do we do? That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Since when have you sunk to mob law? We have to arrest him. No, I won't let you do it. No matter what he did, he deserves a fair trial. <laughs> oh god, they're on the other side now. Please don't shoot them, they can't fucking survive. Oh, well, he's dead. So, There's really, like, know, no way for me to do this. <laughs> when you said Slav Jank, I never heard of that term, but I knew exactly what kind of game <laughs> it was going to be. It's going to be, as I say, it's some, some Eastern Bloc, you know, pre made like it was before the fall of the USSR. <laughs> and a lots of, hey, yeah, the, the weird... Uh, Characterization, characterization, caricature of uh, Russian accent. I was close. Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. None of these guys are gonna survive. We should have leveled differently. Not. I'm not trying to move, please. Ah, she can just turn invisible and be like, "Well, we will rescue one person." Because she's invisible. They won't even know. So, 3 times 36. So, this should be the most damaging, but it doesn't have, like, guaranteed hit chance. Oh, 92%. Oh. He do big damage now. He do big... Oh, it only fucking takes one action point. Alright, so he do big damage now. Ugh! <gasps> They won't even know. It's so, it's so good. Help you out. That's a great, yeah, that's a great voice. That one's fun. Especially since it has, like, some level of inflection. The other ones haven't had that. It reminds me, you know what this reminds me of thinking about now is, uh, Dynasty Warriors 2. Whoa. 2? Yeah, dude, because... I mean, the voice acting's been bad. That series kind of known for its bad voice acting, but... Nice you know, it'll, it'll say... Cow Cow is attacking the east gate. Will attack the west gate. <laughs> you know, it sounds. It reminded me. I was like, "What does this sound like?" That's what it. It may not have been two. It may have been three or four. But it. it <sighs> Dynasty Wars is kind of known for its really funny voice acting. He missed the first time. So. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I always wonder about that. It's like, they just bring these voice actors in the room. And they're like, read this. Like, A what? And just just read the words. Don't give it any kind of inflection. <laughs> like you know what it is? it's it's foreign it's foreign people not listening to their native company like a branch of the company on book finding voice That's actors. Awesome. You know <laughs> how Resident Evil happened. Resident Evil One. They just grabbed people they found on the street of Tokyo, streets of Tokyo, and you know they don't know what the hell they're saying. Do you see and this like? The computer like attacks happen where they first start their turn. So if they move and then attack, it plays it at the original location instead of where the person is. Oh, I didn't know. I'll like, keep an eye. Whoops. I will give them a nice cut. Ten dollars. I will perform precise surgery on them. But she's gone. I can't like do anything with her, right? Uh. So yeah, let's just move as fast as we can, and then we're not gonna launch this guy. So I did this totally wrong. When I first did her on the first mission, I thought that this was the range because it starts like on top of her or something. I didn't realize that she has infinite range because like, look how the screen is tinted. That means I can hit pretty much anywhere with this. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. I would have the same that you did, yeah. They won't even know what hit them. They won't even. <laughs> they have one line. It's the same line every time. 108 damage, yeah! This guy's pretty good. These skills are all over the place, though, I gotta say. I really feel like, I don't know. Some of this is, uh... Questionable balance. First move, right? 
but you know, it it's kind of fun, I guess. I don't know. It's not good in terms of, you know, strategy RPG design. Oh my god. But is that so important? No. Of course it is. <laughs> is it important? I'm gonna run out of turns. Shit. Time to burn. Time to burn. Let's blow something up. Oh. Okay, I hope I get one more turn. Because that sucks. I'll help you out. Uh, I guess these two guys die? Defeat. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! I was supposed to start running. I wasn't supposed to be fighting those guys. Wow. Just full on fucking. Um. We still haven't beaten the demo yet. <laughs> <sighs> Do you think we should try to get farther? Or. Uh, I think the one thing I want to try is try to just skip all the missions and just train constantly. That's what I want to see. Get in the time chamber. So let's do that, because that'll be hilarious. Oh, that's at 47 minutes right there, so yeah, probably in an hour. It's um, funny, because you don't even need a time chamber. You don't even, you know, because the whole point of the hyperbolic time chamber is you, real time doesn't pass that far, and you get a bunch of training time. This game, you don't even need it. You just train, and the end, the threat won't advance, in theory, is what we're thinking. <laughs> Yeah. Um, let's put this girl in here. Because she can't do anything, it seems like. Oh, she's the icon of it? So that makes sense. Oh, wait. No, I see. It's another one of these things. Wait, why she get... Oh, for her rocket launcher? Let's do her rocket launcher, then. I know we mentioned earlier, but my god. It just, it's, it's like the AI didn't know what to do. Yeah. Oh. It, it, her front is braided and her back is red locks. It makes. <laughs> but you know, maybe the. Uh... Oh, let's just give this guy his that too. Yeah, let's just do that for both of them. Good. This is a good plan. This is our mission. We're going to get juiced. Even though we lost that mission because that mission wasn't about killing everyone, it was about uh, getting those people out. And I killed one of them immediately because I was like, are these bad guys? Because they just have, like, armor? Um, I guess I should have paid attention because when you click on them, it says their name. It said wounded soldier, so... I don't know. There, there could have been something, like... You can't have, like, a chat bubble pop-up where they're like, please help us. And you're like, oh, those must be the guys I'm supposed to rescue, you know? Yeah. Yep, skip this week's mission. We're just going to keep doing it. We're just going to keep doing it. We're just going to... Do whatever's fastest for this. Mm hmm. And then. Weapon laboratory. And then we're gonna do her rocket launcher and his sniper rifle. I can only do this five times, so there is some sort of limit here. We're just gonna shirk all of our duties. <laughs> just. Just let me work out. <laughs> just gonna sit around and work out and build guns. This was the uh, the interwar period between Vietnam and 9/11 and the GWAT. There, I was listening to some podcasts and they're like, "We just worked out and drank beer all day because <laughs> there was no war." But you know, just in case, like Navy SEALs and stuff, they're all we just worked out all day. She can actually do both. She doesn't have to choose. Interesting. Why does she have a shotgun? I must have fucked up her skills or something. I wasn't. I started clicking things really fast. I didn't want her to have a shotgun. But that's okay, her rocket launcher has infinite range, so it's fine. Whatever. Who needs missions? So far, this seems like this is not a problem. So, I don't know what the hell the dev was thinking with this. Like, am I... Like, do you expect the players to just, like... Uh, you should be choosing, like, from week to week, right? That's, like, how a game would work? <laughs> You presume much, sir. <laughs> but, like, typical RPG maker fashion, they didn't think about, like, why certain things are done in a game. Yep. Yeah, it's just, oh, I, I, I did that thing when I played a game. I'm just going to copy it. But you don't understand why they did it. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, in XCOM, it's like, shit happens from week to week. And if you don't do the missions, then, like people just like die and like the game just ends eventually because it's like well you just sat around building your base like you can't just do that all right so everyone's max meditation right oops i keep i don't know why i'm struggling with that so much let's go above okay cool you had you got that right all right cool good job 
Um, wait, so who who gets this? Cray gets this too. All right, well, Cray's gonna get it now. Adios. Like, and it said injuries. I haven't been injured yet, so I don't know. I guess I haven't played the game enough to see injuries happen, but who knows? Wait, what's the difference between... Oh, this is strength, right? Oh, shit. I can only select one of these people. Oh, no. Oh, but he's already doing that. Let's just do that. I want to do two things at once. So I don't have to keep clicking on too many menus, I guess. But this broad, this lady can't do anything. She can't. Ten health? What? Oh, I don't know why this brings up the stats. It's like, weird. What? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't really want to click this a hundred times here. I mean, so far it seems like there's no penalty for this. So, like... The, all these guys are just going to be maximum juiced. Uh, what armor laboratory? I haven't even been in here yet. Oh, what? Damage resistance? Oh, wow. These are very strong. What's this do? Uh-oh. Oh, I feel like... I don't have the person I need to do this, I think. Um... Okay. Oh, this guy can't do it because he doesn't wear... He doesn't wear a shirt. How appropriate. Well, he, he's just gonna do what he wants to do, which is get jacked in the gym. You know? Of course. Gotta work on those muscles! Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> um... Okay, I mean, I'm pretty convinced that, like... I don't know if this is, like, the demo, and the demo has limited missions to pop up or something. But, uh... Uh, I think we've proven that that doesn't matter. At least I don't know if this is if that's just because of the demo. Then that, like, that doesn't make a good I, impression yeah. of your game. You know, I'm gonna say yeah. As you as you're probably not <laughs> probably just negligence, bad design, yeah. not awareness. Of, I mean, yeah. Again, it's the way you do one thing kind of thing. It's it would just want to make sense for someone to put in a ton of effort in a game and then also do a bunch of AI art and use RPG Maker. If this was this was. If they're gonna use AI art and and rush through it as fat, you know, use a, a kind of an entry, more entry uh, engine, they're they're looking to just take shortcuts. Yeah, it's just just how it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's some. I don't know. Hopefully, this is like a first. This is the first project, and this is pretty good. Um, but you know, if you learn from it, learn how to have like. Hey, when you put decisions in their game, in your game, like there should be something that happens on both sides of that decision, right? Like <laughs> you can't just be like, "Yes, just push this button to get better stats," and <laughs> click it fucking a hundred times um, with no consequences. But I think we've, I think we've seen enough, don't you think? I Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's mostly on you, I guess, if you want to keep. But I, I. I don't see the game changing that much from here on out for sure. Yeah, it was cool that they had the objectives in that one mission that we just did. Um, and it's cool that there's a quit button. I appreciate that. To your fears, though, of uh, is there a lot to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of thought about it when, before we were you were thinking, you know, is there pretty much to talk about this game? Well, uh, I. I think so. At least more than just auto attacking and uh, healing. Sure. Uh, and it was more interesting. I, I think the other thing was like that we would be interested enough to play it for a whole hour, which I think yeah. it was. I think a lot of these games we're playing, it's like we're really just we keep playing them. We reach the time limit purely because we like hope to see something. But yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think this at least had sort of engaging stuff. Uh, Sort of. It's like almost a game. <laughs> it's 
it's uh yeah we're, we're the the kindest words you can say it's you know <laughs> you can start the program <laughs> you know, for reaching it has menus and you can click on them and uh you know you can like do damage to enemies so that's cool <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. It's the yeah. We're we're reaching for the niceties. Yeah. For, but also make skill, pick I, skill. I will say something. This is definitely going to be more than a two for the default RPG maker. At least that's how I feel. Because it's not RTP. Because it's because it's not RTP and like you know some of the skills like they have like areas and like choices and stuff. So that's kind of nice. And like you can move into like cover. Um not, I don't know, not great thought in, like, a lot of these. Like, the hit chance and stuff was really fucking weird and made no sense. And, like, the multi-hit abilities made no sense either. Um, yeah. Yeah, it made no sense. It was, like, 70% chance to hit, but, like, fired, like, six bullets, but, like, only one, only get one number, and, like, it's either all of them hit or all of them miss. Like, that's, why? Like, why is it a multi-shot attack? I don't know. It's weird to me. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah questionable design is the reason questionable but, design but i really i don't know I, I really i guess based on their music taste i'm assuming this is a young person <laughs> maybe that's biased to me um if they could just be incredibly it's, though so to put this game for 10 bucks on steam is pretty insane you know what i mean even for a ignorant kid i can i mean i'm not saying i'm i put it past anyone to do it, it but it yeah. definitely feels that i don't know it, it's yeah you can't be that ignorant kids can't be that ignorant about everything i don't know it seems like maybe not maybe it's just arrogance versus ignorance maybe possibly we never know the reasons why these people do these things um money <laughs> <laughs> they they want easy money that's fine yeah and it's not coming because this game's not going to sell well they i don't know they legitimately think like their game is like really good and it's like, we're just, we're just jerks for being like, no. And it's like, well, okay, well, your game hasn't been out that long. It's been out for a month, but you only have one review, so. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it, it reminds me of that person who was saying, uh, oh, you know, with Steam, Steam takes 100 bucks to put a game. That's not, that's not easy for everyone. And, and you were like, but by saying that, you admit that you don't think your game's going to sell. You're making your game with the expectation it's not going to sell because yeah. it's garbage. And this this game, I don't I don't know. We don't know the reason, right? Who who the hell knows what? It could be some kid. It can be someone who just isn't know, knows how to try video games. I don't know. But at the same time, they got this far, right? They made the game. They published it on Steam. They got through the whole selection process. So something happened. <laughs> and I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they are ignorant. Maybe they're not as ignorant as we think. Who knows? Maybe they'll see this review and get really mad at us. I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna Google their game name or YouTube their game name and go, "Oh my God, someone reviewed it!" And then, like, man, he's this Tom guy. You know that shit should happen, but it doesn't happen very often. It's like I do that all. Well, I did it all the time for like the first year or two with Only Sell Sword, but uh, I stopped doing it for a while. I was like, ah, people, are people aren't playing it anymore. But yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, I want to see people play the game and what they think, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if these... I've talked about how these devs, how a lot of devs don't seem to understand, like, f fucking feedback and, like, taking feedback and seeing someone playing your game unedited. Even if they're... Even if it's a no-commentary video, like, that's still useful feedback. Like, literally saying nothing, because you get to see them interact yeah. with your game and how they play it. So... It's if, true. If you don't understand that, then perhaps you need to, uh, I don't know, watch some GDC videos of fucking devs talking about game design. I don't know. Like, you, <laughs> I I still wonder about this. We talked about it a bit, but when people make these games and and they play them, and if they're just they're too close to it, and they're they're so excited to see what they try to implement function that they don't see that it's boring as hell. It. I, I, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like the Ballad of Radolf guy's quote when he said, I know it's not the best game, but it's pretty fun. And there's no way he played his game. Yeah, there's, there's no, way. no way. So with this stuff, I do wonder at every level in every game. 
Yeah. You know, well, whatever. I mean, devs do have a tendency to be like, I'm going to play the game the way it's intended. And, like, and then do a bunch of stuff they know, only they know beforehand. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, they get tunnel vision and they don't think about things like, well, you're you're mixing and matching, like, training on each week. But, like, because you, cause you haven't realized that that's, like, not a good motivation for players. There's no motivation for players to do that. So you're just doing that because you expect that players will do that. Oh, yeah. That, and that's the hard part. That's why you need external feed because... When you look at these things, you know, like one of the hardest things is for puzzle solving is did I provide enough clues for the players to figure this out without looking anything up, right? But it's hard because you, you're the one who made it. And yeah, you can, you can put effort into not into separating yourself, but there's only so much you can do, you know, it's much easier to reverse engineer a connection than to do it blind, right? It's easy to see, for example, I was watching a video of years ago, someone playing charades, and every time I saw I I saw the answer and then I looked back at what the person was doing. And I go, Oh, I can totally see that. That seems so obvious. But then I actually covered it and tried to play, and I got it wrong every single time. It's <laughs> so much harder. You know, it's easy to say, Oh, here's the clues I provided, and then this is where it should lead them versus going in completely blind and you know something as simple as for the charades example is you know if someone does a, a running motion it can be running it can be jogging it can be um hurrying it can, you know what i mean there's so many things and if they can't guess it they just have to say words and hope you, yeah so point is in this case or in any case in anything anything you need feedback on you you can separate yourself as much as you want and you try but in the end you're you do need someone else who doesn't, who isn't close to it, who didn't make it because you, as much as you may try to look at it as unbiased as possible, it's, it's, you're not going to get it. You may look at certain things unbiased, but you're not going to get everything right. So I think it's, it's important to still get external feedback for that. Exactly. Yeah. But I guess the, the, the other side, the caution of that, that I always think about is don't over, uh, over streamline, over feedback. Cause I feel like a lot of modern games do that too much where it's like they do focus groups so much. And I don't know, I guess maybe this is because I've mentioned like sometimes the jank is part of the fun because it's like <laughs> that's kind of part of the thing you have to solve is how to play the game. But when everything's like super streamlined and super like polished, then it feels like there's nothing to figure out. Like the game just kind of tells you like press the button, you did it, hooray. Because they try to get rid of all the friction because. When players can't, don't know what they're doing, that can be perceived as like friction. But it's like, no, that's that's the point of the game. They have to figure it out. They have to have moments where they're like, huh, what? What am I supposed to do? Like, and there's no right answer. To be yeah. fair, right? You'll you'll never get everyone to say, oh, this is the perfect amount. You do have to at some point, absolutely. You have to send it, as they say. You got to let yeah. it go, and and that's why game design is so damn hard and just it's true impossible at times. It's true. You'll never please everyone. Yeah. Anything creative in that sense. But, but there's absolutely, that being said, there are sometimes very close to as possible as objectively bad decisions. <laughs> Those absolutely <laughs> exist in games. And, yeah. And so I don't want this to sound like an excuse of, oh, we'll just do, do garbage and, and, and find the people with the opinion. I mean, even then, even if you're technically right of, oh, well, that's just an opinion. Well, if you're trying to make money off this, and your opinion that the the two people on the planet who maybe agree with you buy your game, you're you're not who's winning, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not not you. So yeah. So anyway, uh, gameplay. I'm actually thinking, is this generous? I was kind of thinking of a three. If if we boil it down to the raw, don't look at the AIR, don't look at the funny voices, and 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 just look at that. I think. I mean, you probably you felt it more that the tactics. It overall did have some use. It obviously isn't a high high quality tactics game, but no, it does. I think deserve more. Yeah, than more or, than more than default RTP shit. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And I like that the missions had at least we saw some variety of like, oh, you gotta rescue these people and carry them to the thing. Like, oh, okay, cool. 
that's something. It's not just fighting yeah. guys, uh, <laughs> which isn't which isn't a lot, but it's a lot for RPG Maker sometimes. Um, so yeah, well, how would you feel about a three point five? Does it reach that high? I don't know. I don't. I kind of think. I kind of think it doesn't because I think the problem is the systems are too easily broken. I guess. Uh, that's that's what exactly what I was gonna bring up. I was gonna say yeah, but you know we tested the, the yeah. I mean I wouldn't have used the exact same, but I, that's what I was thinking. The exact same thing is it seems like because not enough was thought out. There's gonna be there are exploits to kind of so it almost feels like a tech demo more than yeah. a well balanced game, right? So yeah, yeah that's, I could, I would, that's why I would say not a three point five. Because yeah, I could see it with just a little more thought to some of these systems this could easily be like a four but he just he just didn't figure out certain things so <laughs> it doesn't matter um narrative is funny because so i wanted to i wanted to bring this up at some point defense of the earth is an incre incredibly generic title that uh doesn't tell me anything <laughs> doesn't it, it's bad it's yeah. like uh, i remember i saw it and uh, to be fair this is a translation but the Legend of Heroes, it was oh, like yeah. RPG. I thought, who, who would think that's an okay name to to have? <laughs> you know, it, it's the most generic thing you could you could think of. Yeah. So, Defense of the Earth is pretty bad. Yeah. I don't know, man. I wonder if this if if this guy just threw a bunch of AI stuff into a can and just even the title, you know, and just said yeah, even the title, it. maybe even the writing. Uh... Yeah. I would not be surprised. In fact, I, I'd almost expect it. Yeah, because the writing is pretty matter-of-fact. We got a little bit of personality from Cray at the beginning because he was like, not in voice acting, obviously, uh, where he was like, ah, you better do this thing, or otherwise I'm going to cause a shitstorm. Um, but otherwise, it's like, Go to this place, meet the guy, recruit them. I'll join your cause. Oh, there's aliens. We gotta fight the aliens. Like, damn it, aliens! <laughs> damn Where it, not the aliens. Them? They took our babes. Yeah, Jesus. I mean, that would be something. I mean, obviously that's yeah. tasteless, but at least it's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a little I mean, bit it, of flavor. It, it, a self-aware parody, right? Yeah. Um. Well, that may be a bit much to ask for an RPG maker. Yeah. But yeah, but the bar is pretty low for writing, as I've stated many times. And one of the great things about this game uh, is it doesn't really waste our time that much. Yeah. Uh, so that's always a, a high mark <laughs> in the world of RPG Maker. It doesn't waste our fucking time. Uh, I would not be surprised if the dialogue was AI, though. Yeah, it's true. Some of those, yeah, some of those uh, dialogue boxes were pretty meaty. So yeah. it still has the same problem that every RPG Maker dev has, where they have no idea how to like structure like a conversation to like make it like paste well and stuff. Um, yeah. So it's just like here, here's all the words. I'll just put them all. I have this much room. I'm going to use all of it. Um. So <laughs> it's not great, but man, I almost want to say it's three or something. But I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. two or two point five. Yeah, I guess two point five. I kind of had a chuckle at it, like because it's very it's, the parts that were like childlike were funny to me. It's like go to the arena, meet the destroyer. <laughs> That's like, short. I'll join your team. I'm tired of beating up losers here. Like that. That was cracking me up with how childish it was. <laughs> I'm gonna feel foolish if it if it. It's, I mean, I I mean, I I, I almost want to preemptively give it not give it a, a just because i think it's ai generated but <laughs> i you know i can't prove that so yeah i guess to be as just as possible i don't know is it is it anything better than that i guess it's as you said it doesn't waste time i don't know 2.5 yeah. so I, I, guess, I guess i guess this is my thing with ai stuff i think i'm gonna we'll deduct points on like where it falters like when the ai art looks bad or like the voice acting is bad right those are those are those points but we're not deducting the points because it's ai but because of that where we do sure. deduct points because it's AI would be technical because that's like lack of polish, lack of effort, right? Skipping steps. Sure. Um, so yeah, audio uh, it has voice acting, but it's AI or AI voices, and they didn't even figure out any kind of way to any kind of 
acting or inflection out of anything. Um, like, this is literally, like, the not, like, we've had, like, this is, is this even AI voices? Because it's, like, reminds me of, like, the text-to-speech that we've had for, like, 30 years now. I mean, obviously, the earliest versions were terrible and they sounded very robotic, but, like, at some point they added, like, um, different, you know, voice actors and, like, recorded a bunch of sounds and got them to splice together words so it actually sounds like a person talking yeah so i don't know i don't know what he did but like this is this is a bad ai I did a bad job with this <laughs> like i yeah I, I get what you're saying i don't know i, I feel it sound pretty pretty bad ai like pretty normal bad AI. I, maybe i haven't heard enough good ai i don't know it sounded like pretty generic bad ai yeah to me. but yeah yeah just you can tell maybe some of it is said right but then the other flex is a little awkward i don't know I, that's how I, I feel it sounded like generic bad ai i don't feel it yeah it, yeah and the music was generic ai stuff but it looped properly i think so that's interesting but uh and a lot of the sounds are rtp so i don't know like two I, like it works, I guess. I'd, I'd say that's fair. Yeah. I basically can't give them any points for the AI voice acting because it doesn't, like, it's not good. Like, yeah. Um, visuals. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, visuals are hard because that's the thing the AI seems to do the best. Obviously, there's a lot of fucking mistakes and shit and uh, a lot of bad cropping and uh, things being scaled becoming pixelated so it is nice to look at though i prefer looking at this janky ai art than like default rtp stuff but that's not yeah. saying much this is like i don't know what am i thinking here like a 2.5 or something like i don't know that's a tough one I, yeah I, I get what you're saying and we can't judge it on the fact that it's just that it's ai but I get what you're saying. It, it does look better, but it has still the AI issues. It has the AI shininess and gloss. And... Oh, this is, this is a weird one. Eh, 2.5, sure, why not? People are going to be pissed about it. You're giving an you're giving a AI generated over... Yeah. Oh, but whatever, I don't know. It, it, RTP is a 2, so... Yeah. I don't know. RTP is just as lazy. <laughs> yeah. It's lazier potentially because you don't even go to a website to get a prompt. You just use what's already in the engine. Yeah, so there's that, and up. then there's like people who like steal assets. And I don't know. I still, I still get hot about that. I'm like, why aren't more people angry about like fan games or like people like stealing assets from other games, and just putting them in there? It's like, gah, that's much. That's worse than AI because at least with AI, you don't know where the source is. When it comes to yeah. just stealing shit, then it's like you're directly doing it. Like you're the, you're the criminal. <laughs> you're the, yeah, you're the problem. Yeesh. Um. All right. So mapping is. I'm I'm gonna say two at best. I don't. Maybe it should be lower because there was no mapping for the most part. Yeah, and it was then, just background for the battle, right? Yeah. And then when we had mapping on the battle screens, it was like pretty ugly and like terrible. Maybe it should be a one, like because. Those, those battlefields were pretty bad looking, to be honest. And they were yeah. RTP. Oh, yeah, they looked. They, they, that's what I was saying. They they looked so. You had the the AI, whatever high character models, and then on the background it looked yeah, it looked almost like crayon, which is yeah. RTP. Make fun of me, make RTP. Yeah. Uh, technical. I guess you get some points for. I I kind of feel like these are plugins, but then again, I think a lot of the menus and stuff he had to do himself or themselves um but i mean like <laughs> this is like more like rpg maker stuff where it's like oh man they made menus but like yeah you have to make menus in a game like that's not really <laughs> you can't it's tough to give bonus points for that like these are the things a game are supposed to have yeah, yeah. um it's base requirement and he loses a lot of points for using ai so i almost want to give him like a one or something and there was like flow problems and typos and 
and the game it was almost the game was what 90 percent yeah yeah i'm fine with the one the game it was almost i, I wouldn't be surprised the game was almost made, yeah it was almost made completely in ai oh man what if they used ai to like help with like plug-in making or something that's what i was wondering that's what i'm wondering the programming side yeah the coding side got ai help i, I was wondering that all right I don't know so said, but... all right the price Ooh, we're gonna you know this is somewhere where you could have you could have maybe uh, earned some points with us, but instead you chose to charge a whole ten dollars like it's a real fucking game. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a, a zero. I think a zero. Wow. Yeah, just because I was thinking about it. Yeah, maybe a <laughs> one or a point five, but I'm gonna give it a point five. I think you wanna give point five? Okay, fine. Yeah, because I guess you could. There is a game, but if so much of it was just automated. It doesn't feel like, and then ten dollars, right? Value. It's not. Yeah, ten dollars is a lot of money, man. It's it's not even about does it how much, if it costs. It's how much does it cost compared, right? Yeah. To the value, and so that's why I think, I I guess I could argue see a point five because it's like, it's a game. Yeah. It's, it's he so did similar. he did do some work, and you right. know maybe you'll get a couple hours out of it. Um, it's just. Like too expensive. What would your suggested price be? Free? <laughs> I was gonna say oh, like Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is a free game. This is a, this is a my first try, check out my programming and then messing with programming chops. Yeah. That, absolutely. This is like an only sell sword style game in that sense where you're kinda of learn you know, for you, where you're doing it as like a learning experience. This is not a game that should have a real commercial release, absolutely not. Yeah. Um He definitely should have I don't know how long the game is, but I mean, judging by the fact that I can juice my characters just immediately, so you waste like 30 minutes doing that. Uh, and then every other mission is going to be trivial Trivial after that, I assume. Um, <laughs> you could probably speedrun the game by uh, using pretty obvious cheats that the game just gives you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It seems like there's going to be... I don't know. I mean, we don't know how far the if you went far in the game, but it seems like there wouldn't be a, it's one of those, you know, I guess there wouldn't be any safeguards for it because that requires effort. That doesn't seem like it was put into the game overall. Right. Yeah. That requires design forethought and which there's no way. <laughs> yeah. Which with, if you're going to do, if you're going to AI this much of the game, there's no way that you had that much forethought. I know, I know it's technically not true. It could have, but you know, that I'm, I'm just, I'm very much that person of, the way you do something is kind of how it affects it all. You're you're not gonna bust your ass in one aspect and then be super lazy everywhere else, right? You're gonna yeah. be lazy everywhere. You're gonna bust your ass everywhere, and then or or you're gonna try to and then quit when it's too daunting, right? You're not gonna be super high level in one little aspect and then everything else you go man AI art man. You know it's just not the odds of that is so low. Yeah, I really so, wish that was the case. That's my wishful thinking that like you know use this you know bottom com bomb bottom common denominator uh engine and ai or ai everything and then show us how much you can like design a game out of that and how much writing you can make compelling but yeah it's never it's not going to be the case at least i haven't we're not going to see it i don't know it's one in a million yeah or yeah exactly it, it's the way you do something is the way you do everything kind of thing. It, it, it just, you know, oh, ye of too much faith. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It, it just doesn't make sense. Obviously, it can't happen, but just, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. No, no one would be super. And then not even just the effort. It's the skill level, right? If someone was actually really skilled at game development, they wouldn't do this. They wouldn't, oh, I'm a super high-level programmer, game designer, ex-game director of some major super good game, but I'm just going to put a bunch of AR at my game and then try to sell it. Someone that successful wouldn't think that way. Yeah. You know, the odds are just too low. Yeah. Man, I was just thinking like that treasonous Tom guy, he could have saved a lot of time if AI was around when he was working on his game. Big true. <laughs> Big true. Man, he would have gotten a similar score to what he got from <laughs> and saved a lot of time. Um. All right, so... How are you feeling about this? I, f I feel all over the place for my rating. You know what's funny is I'm actually, 
I don't want to say I get why people are against AI art and as a a former artist whatever uh I get it I get it but I'm more so indifferent to the whole thing I I feel that you know people say oh they're losing jobs whatever it's yeah but you know that's the entertainment industry if you want a stable job I don't know go be a an underwater welder right you know what i mean I, I just feel i get it it sucks but at the same time i i have little sympathy for that because the job market sucks it sucks for everyone and and to say oh ar is going to get rid of artist art whatever there's there's worse problems in the world but at the same time i get it and i don't want ai art in my real games to be fair i don't want my you know i don't want high quality commercial games to have ai art but overall, I'm just very indifferent about the whole thing because of what I said, where I said, you know, well, life is, you know, I, it's, it's tough to say because I don't want to say, oh, life is hard, deal with it, because that's not true of everything, right? There are, humanity does improve and things need to change, you know, there's been progress and stuff. So I don't want to just blanket wave, oh, you know, wine more. I don't want to say it like that, but I, it just doesn't, with all the problems in the world, it just doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me it is a big deal to people who are i get it but i'm not i don't care about art that much anymore. so i respect that people feel that way about it they can have their opinion i can have my opinion whatever anyway point is so i actually don't dislike ar that much compared to people who really do you know but at the same time i don't think it should be used especially if the styles vary the same between programs if it Everything looks the same. Everything looks glossy. Everything looks too clean and, and, and shiny. I don't want that either, to be fair, as much as I don't care that much about. I still do obviously care. I play video games. I like art, you know? Yeah. So I know I'm being a little loquacious. I had to use that word. But point is, after all that, as my indifference and whatever, I just I can't give the game a good rating just from the fact that it used so much AI in it right it's hard to give it a good score because i know so much of it was shortcutted and again it's not that inherently it being ar is bad but it shows the amount of effort he's willing to or she whatever the developer is willing to put into their game if they're using this much ai assets which means they're not going to put a lot of effort into it and so in that sense i feel it's, it's hard i can't you know, aside from the game itself not being very good, I feel that alone kind of almost guarantees it won't be that much of an effort of a game. Hmm. You know what I mean? So, so does that mean you're going to give them an F here? Um, maybe. I'm thinking of that. <laughs> it's going to be low. It's going to be a low score for sure. I guess I'm trying to separate. Not Yeah, I'm trying to separate. I'm not trying to think about the fact that he used AIR. I'm trying to think about the product as a whole and obviously the results of the AI are produced uh, just how it was produced and what or what was produced and how he implemented them that's kind of what I'm focused on sure. um, and was that even good right yeah because that was also not even good like <laughs> yeah, exactly that's the <laughs> that's that's the real thing here for me it's like you have these AI voices that are have no inflection. I don't know if how much control those tools give you over the voice acting, but I thought it was more than that. Um, you know, it's possible it, there is, and and the dev just didn't put in the effort to fix it. Yeah, because they just hand. I truly believe they just hand waved a lot of the art assets in this game, whether it was the music, the writing, the art, the voice acting. I believe a lot of it was just hand waved. It was click button. You know, maybe they wrote the script and then click button and then just put it in the game. I truly believe that's what happened. I don't think there was any quality control or anything, uh, or very little. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be my guess. Man, I kind of want to go back and listen to the music and uh, see how it loops, because that would be the one place of effort that I can think of if he actually edited the sound files to make sure they loop. Because I don't think I don't know if you can tell AI to be like, hey, make sure the song loops, but maybe you can. Um, and it's smart enough to know. It's smart enough to know how to do that properly. They're like, whoa. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny to me to 
use this shortcut and then make crap. I mean, I guess that's RPG Maker's brand. It's like, hey, look, you, now that it's easy, you can just hit the print button and put no effort in. <laughs> that alone is what I feel that's the vibe of the game, and I feel that alone kind of gives it, determines a low score. And even outside of the separation thing, I don't know, low effort. That's part of our score, right? Is is I mean, how often are you going to see a low effort, super high quality game? You're just, yeah. You're not. It's That's kind of the point of effort. It's difficult when it's when it's a distraction, right? When it's like you play the game and you can tell, like, oh, this is a bunch of AI garbage. like, Or, oh, this is a bunch of RPG Maker garbage, right? Like, yeah. The goal of a commercial product is, you know, the user shouldn't be having thoughts like that. They should think, like, oh, this looks cool, or this is fun to play. Like, yeah. <laughs> if the first thought is, oh, this looks like trash, <laughs> that's a problem. Yep. Exactly. So as much as I know you want to separate it, which I can understand, you also have to think of it of, don't think of it from a perspective of, oh, is it AR? Almost just think of it just raw, raw on the quality. The quality wasn't, it, yeah, the, the, the art looks good in terms of the proportions and the characters have faces and stuff, but the game doesn't look particularly good, to be completely honest, mm-hmm. right? Even outside the separation of that. Yeah, maybe it looks a little more eye. It's a little less eye painful than RGB, but I'm going to be controversial and give them a D. Oh, you're you're nice. All right. Because in spite of all these things we're saying, I still feel like this had more of an idea of like what game they wanted to make than like most of the stuff we play, where it's just like. I don't, it's RPG maker. You walk around. You you have to auto attack and then heal. It's like you're not wrong. Like, he's like I'm making some kind of XCOM game. Like and like I felt like there was effort to do that. And there were certain there are certain places where he like made changes. Like that uh, quest log looked like the Yanfly one, but like you can click on them to select your active quest. Like okay, that's not good flow, but okay. <laughs> That's a fair point. You know, that's true. I forgot about the whole... I know I was talking about it during it, but I was thinking mostly of the tactical battle map. I was I kind of forgot about the whole XCOM part, even though I was talking about it during the... when you were playing it. I was like, that's true, actually. Yeah, they had that... the whole not heal and auto attack. There's, eh, you've convinced me. <laughs> nah, okay, you know. What did we give it gameplay score-wise? 2.5? Uh, Scrolling back to the world. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at something on OBS, but it's fine. Uh, three. Oh yeah. Technical mapping. Did you want to give? I I guess I was gonna say give it a. Yeah, I okay. I, I do gotta respect the 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 effort in that sense. Well, I'm not gonna give it a great score. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, of course not. not. But the value's still awful just because the art assets is part of the budget, right? That's a big. Yeah. That's probably the biggest part of budget in terms of modern games making games. And so if you ten dollar game and there's no effort in the art that is part of it technical yeah i was gonna say do we want to give it a little bit more score because i know we're going back to technical but because of all the other stuff or you want to say effort i guess that's more gameplay it's not really technical all right we'll leave it as um yeah i mean we I, the problem is it's still like i mean a lot of this is just like okay. show picture and like click on buttons in a menu and then a fight loads like, sure. it's not super complicated technical wise um and i you know deducted that's where all of the ai points were removed from technical so man you really got me <laughs> now i'm thinking man i'm gonna do it what's the game up there that got an f plus the free one i'm trying to remember what game that is the one uh, that's like Quora. What, game is that? what is this is this oh best christmas game you'll play in your life this one or a different one yeah yeah that one what was that I... I remember that game in my head. Yeah, these I know. I remember we high. played it. The fuck? <laughs> I always... I'm trying to be fair here. I know this is like wasting time, but I'm trying to be fair here. Damn. Uh, no. Okay. Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a, it's a straight F. Straight F. No. They put more effort than RTP. F plus. F plus. It is. Okay. <laughs> After AI, AI art is actually more effort than RTP. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but it's kind of true. Yeah, it is kind of true because obviously you're just pushing you're just typing a sentence and pushing a button but you know it doesn't always get it doesn't it's never going to get right on the first try 
So, you know, you might spend the whole day typing a sentence and pushing a button. Uh, that's more effort than just fucking some of the mapping that we've seen in our in RPG Maker can be done in like five minutes. Like you make a whole level in five minutes, and like you're just like, oh, what is what are my encounters? Uh, two bees, three bees, two bats, three bats. Okay, good. I've finished all the encounters for a zone. Like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's for real, exactly. So I almost want to give. Yeah. So it does deserve a little bit of points there. I'll give it that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did it. They were cool. Some of the skills were kind of cool. Let's see. Maximum. Yeah. So for for this whatever game we just Defense of the Earth. <laughs> I uh, forgot yeah. the name of the game for a second there. Defense of the Earth. Terrible. Terrible name. F for the name. Indeed. All right. Is that uh, is that everything we wanted to say about this fucking thing? I'd say so. All right. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.